Hi guys, today we're going to be working on 8.5, factoring an equation that is in the form x squared plus bx plus c. Uh, and our, object, our objective for today is going to be the factoring of trinomials that are in the form x squared plus bx plus c. So when it comes to factoring uh, expressions that are in this form, we are going to look for factors that are going to multiply together and give us our c value and that add together to give us our b value. So you can see in our notes today we set up a table where we're looking for factors of 24, so things that multiply to 24. So let's start off, we've got 2 times 12, we've got 3 and 8, and we've got 4 and 6. So let's look at our sums there. 12 plus 2 is 14, that's not our target. 8 plus 3 is 11 and 4 plus 6 is 10. So our target, we wanted to find a sum of 11. So our two factors that we have are going to be 3 and 8. So we write those in in the last position of our two parentheses. And our first position is our variable, which was an R for this problem. And we see that both of these numbers are positive, so we put a plus sign. Kelly, would Kate please call the office? Kelly, please call the office. All right, and we can always double check our answer by foiling the problem. And we'll come up with r squared plus 3r plus 8r plus 24. And when you combine the like terms, r squared plus 11r plus 24. Okay, so for each of these problems, you should be able to foil it and confirm that you have the correct answer every single time. All right, so our second example, x squared plus 6x plus 8. We are looking for factors of 8 that are going to give us a sum of 6. So our first two factors, 1 and 8, when we add those together, they're going to give us 9. And 2 plus 4 gives us 6. So our two parentheses, we're going to start with our factors. We've got a 2 and a 4. They're both positive, so we're going to have a plus sign and we need our variables, the two x's. Now as you start to practice these, are you, gonna, you won't necessarily need to list out every single factor of every single term uh, because you'll be able to start to recognize this. But for our examples, we will list out a bunch of factors. So our next example, x squared plus 9x plus 20. We're looking for factors that multiply to 20 and add to 9, and we find that it's 4 and 5. So we write them in, our variable is an x again, and there we go, x plus 4 times x plus 5. Letter D, we're looking for factors of 12, so we've got 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. And our factors that work are 3 and 4. Again, our variables are x's, so we have x plus 3 and x plus 4. Love it when everything's positive. Well, now it's time to get a little negative. So problem two, we're going to be factoring when our b value, so the second term in our trinomial is negative, and our c value is positive. So our second term is negative, and our third term is positive. So our factors of 16, we could try you know, 1 and 16. We could try 2 and 8 and we can try negative 2 and negative 8. So 1 plus 16 gives us 17, 8 plus 2 is 10, and negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. So a big hint, if we see that our C term is positive and our B term is negative, we know that both of our factors are going to need to be negative numbers. So we're going to put in our subtraction sign there. We have a 2 and an 8, and now we just need to plug in our variable, the x. Okay, our second example, we have x squared minus 12x plus 27. So we got 1 and 27, 3 and 9, negative 3 and negative 9. We see that the negative 3, negative 9 terms are going to be the ones we're looking for. 
they add up to the negative 12 and there we go so if we do our foil we do x times x is x squared minus 3x minus 9x and plus 24 27 combine our like terms x squared minus 12x plus 27 which is what we had in our original third example factors of 8 1 and 8 2 and 4 and negative 2 and negative 4 our sums are 9 6 and negative 6 so we want those two negative terms our variable is a y for this one so we do y minus 2 and y minus 4 Next up, we're looking, problem three, is factoring when our C term is going to be less than zero. So if we remember our multiplication rules, in order for us to get a product that is negative, one term is gonna be positive and one term is going to be negative. And we can also look at it as another hint as we're working these problems. If our B term is also going to be negative, we know that our negative factor needs to be the greater of the two. All right, so let's go with, we've got uh, one and negative 18 as a factor, two and negative nine, and three and negative six. So negative 18 plus one is negative 17, negative nine plus two is negative seven, and negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So we rewrite write our parentheses. We've got our positive 2. We have our negative 9. And now we just need to plug in our two variables, x and x. We can double check this with FOIL. x times x is x squared. Minus 9x plus 2x minus 18. Combined like terms, x squared minus 7x minus 18, which is what we started with in the first place. All right, letter B, we've got x squared minus x minus 20. So we've got our factors, 1 and negative 20, 2 and negative 10, and 4 and negative 5. So our sums are negative 19, negative 8, and negative 1. So it's that third set of factors with so the four and negative five. So we have a plus four, minus five, and we need to plug in our two x's. There we go. Letter C, n squared plus nine n minus 36. We've got one and negative 36, two and negative 18, three and negative 12, four and negative nine, six and negative six, so when we add them together, we got negative 35, negative 16, negative 9, negative 5, and 0. And we're looking for a sum of positive 9. So what do we need to do? We have a negative 9, so we need to have a plus 12 and a minus 3. So we have our n's, and there we go. And let's double check with FOIL. n times n is n squared, minus 3n, plus 12n, minus 36. Combine like terms, n squared plus 9n minus 36, which is what we started with. Okay. Letter D, C squared minus 4C minus 21. So our factors, we've got a one and negative 21 and a three and negative seven. Add those up, we've got a 20, negative 20 and a negative four. So our second set of factors is our goal. We have a positive three, a negative seven, and we put in our variables which are C's. Our last example, x squared minus 3x minus 18. We've got one and negative 18, two and negative nine, and three and negative six. 
And Miss Zirzo already circled that three negative six because she knows that that's gonna add up to negative three. So we plug our factors into our form. We've got a positive three, we've got a negative six, and now we just need our variables of the two x's. And that's where we're gonna pause for today, and we will see you in class tomorrow.